Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites where I have new videos for you every Tuesday and sometimes videos on other days like this one. This is for the Erin Condren Petite Planner launch today, September 24th. They are launching um, several new petite planners. I was sent a few and I was sent all their daily petite planners to also share. I was sent a new cover and the petite planner holder. So we're gonna go over this stuff it's going to be a small but mighty video. I just want to get this stuff out to you so that if you are trying to make a decision on a daily planner for next year and you are looking at the petite daily, that you will be able to see what you're getting. So let's jump right into the petite daily. And then they sent me a couple of extra books too. I really love this ice blue new cover that I'm guessing is coming out the same day. It really has me smitten. It is truly beautiful. I believe it doesn't even translate to the screen. They put 2021 on there for me. Embossed, you can choose um, a certain amount of letters to put on your cover if you would like to do that for an extra little fee. I don't remember how much that is. These folio covers are only $20. They're very, if you haven't seen any of my other videos on them, they're very bendable. They're very soft. They're like a vegan leather. They feel just marvelous in hand, honestly. And for $20, if you are just trying out a folio system, this is a perfect way to start, not to invest in an expensive leather folio cover, which I know many people love, but for $20, it's such a good way to start. And some people just love them so much, you know, you may never want to invest in a more expensive cover. I like how the inside is this coordinating dark teal on this ice blue. I think this is one of my very favorite covers that they've ever made. I didn't even know this was going to be in the box. I threw in an insert that I already had. So I have this planner insert, which can go really inside any A5 folio. So the Erin Condren Petite Planners are all A5 size. They have this cute little holder box that is $6. It's really a great box. It's like a magazine file, but smaller for storing three of your petite planners in there. If you really want to squish, you could fit four, but it's made for three petite planners, which is perfect while you're working in your daily uh, planners for the year because you can store the other three dailies in here on your shelf. It has the mid-century circles and this light pool blue color. So I love that accessory that goes along with this whole folio petite planner line. Your folio also comes, if you purchase a folio, it comes in a cloth bag which is just a really nice lightweight cloth bag. It functions very well. Um, we've actually just used them for storage of different things in our house and like games, games like Quirkle or something that come with all these wood blocks. So I always save these bags when I get them because I always find a use for them. I just kind of store them all in a basket and then when I need one, they're there to be able to grab out. So you might wanna think about that before you throw out your bag. So this is the insert, it's $5. It comes with two big pockets on the back side. It comes with three small pockets here that are like kind of business card size. You can also fit like small post-it notes in there. So these can hold your post-it notes, they can hold small sticker sheets. And then you have a big pocket at the back where you can stick cards in there, envelopes, stamps. I really think this insert is just a genius design to go along with the planner folio system. Okay, let's look at the daily planner because I know that's what you guys are excited about to see first. And then we will look at some of the, they also sent along uh, a sticker book, which honestly fits perfectly. I don't think they changed anything about crafting this. Maybe they put less pages in it. I'm not sure, or if it's just a new cover, but this sticker book fits perfect in the folio system. And they sent their new goal setting journal, which I looked all through it, and there are no major changes in the layout, but the colors. There are major changes in the colors, and I love it. I mean, look at that cover. And then they sent their new meal planner book also, don't you love those new colors? They're just beautiful and they go with this cover so well. And there are no major changes in this book that I saw. I just flipped through it really quick, honestly. I did not pull out my old one to compare of the meal planner, but the goal one, I did pull out my old one and did compare to make sure if there were any big changes or anything. So 
I know this one is just all the colors inside and the cover that's changed on the goal planner. All right, so your daily planner with your layers design. Here we go. This is your quarter one book and look how beautiful. It has the hot pink and your layers is carried over front to back. This is your quarter two. I love the way that they made, you know, the gold to go along with the yellow, the pink foiling to go along with the pink. Quarter three, actually this is quarter three, the purple foiling to go along with the purple, and quarter four, the blue. Oh, I love that. Very, very nice, calming, and look how well it matches the cover. Very beautiful. I like the layers design and I like how it translates to the outside of these books. I think they did a great job. If you are keeping your daily planner in a folio system, I love that the design carries over to the back also because you see the back just as much as the front as you are flipping through your folio system. And this, I thought this was a great idea because many people like to keep their stickers with them. And this is perfect to be able to stick your stickers in these pages and be able to just have them with you wherever you are. So I think that's a perfect solution. This book has four bands and fits four books well. I honestly wouldn't try to squeeze in any more than that, but any A5 books. I'm going to flip through and show you the colors in the daily. Of course, the colors coordinate to the life planner. So you're going to have those same colors, but I want to show you how it translates to their monthly. So in your dailies, you do get a monthly layout. Monthly layout is your typical Sunday start, just like in the life planner. You have your note section on this side. You have your previous months with a light gray and your next month as well in a light gray. After your monthly layout, so you start right in. You have your nameplate page. You start right in on January and then you go straight into your daily pages. Actually, let me grab this year's and show you. Here is this year's planner. There is a major change. The kaleidoscope is gone which I personally didn't see any use for in my life. So that's just a personal preference. Some people love it and used it like for the weather every day or for their dinner, which I can see. But that is gone, so your lines are bumped up. You have a few more lines. Everything else is pretty much the same layout. It is still a mirrored layout. So I will show you on a non-weekend page how it mirrors itself. Honestly, that's something that I wish was changed. I really don't like the mirror mirrored thing, I would really just love my three dividers to be always on the left-hand side and my to-dos to be always on the right-hand side. Once again, that's just a personal preference. I haven't honestly heard too many people complain about that, so it might just be something personal that kind of throws me off. The weekend still share a page, so that is still the same. I will show you a weekend page in this year's. It's pretty much the exact same because there was nothing on the weekend. So your color for the month is carried out throughout the lines at the top. You have the layers pattern at the top, very light though, very light. And you have your three boxes, or I would call them three headers for every day in a ombre type of pattern. You have holidays noted right here under the date. I do love how their dates are big and that they stand out. I love that in their daily planner. I actually like how there's no time schedule on here and it's open-ended. Many people um, time block out their day over here and they list all the times from the time they get up till the time they go to bed. And that's perfect because you can make that work for your life. Whether you get up at 5 a.m. or whether you get up at 7 a.m., you can start your day whenever you get up or whenever you need to start your time blocking and end it when you need to. So I think that's perfect. I personally don't need this little monthly look here but I have heard many people say they use it. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I would like that whole box to be blank for just for notes or anything else. You know, what if you wanna do dinner there every day and track your steps there every day? I, I would just prefer it to be blank. I'd be fine with flipping back to my monthly calendar. But I have heard many people utilize that. They highlight the day they're on and they like to be able to look at that and plan ahead from that too without having to flip. So this is your layout for your daily planner. Not too many changes, but you do have a few more to-do lines since the kaleidoscope is taken out. So last year's has 11 to-do lines. This year's has 14. So you do have more to-do lines with that kaleidoscope taken out. You still have a header space at the top. 
I love that. You can still track your weather up here or your dinner up here or your steps up here or put a little motivation up here for the day or if it's somebody's birthday. You still have plenty of header room to do that up here, but it bumps it up and it gives you a couple more lines. So I'm a big fan of that change. So this is what January looks like. And then if you flip, there are no extra notes pages in here. You go straight into your February layout. Your holidays are noted on your monthly as well as your daily pages. I love the way the layers looks across there. I love the way the colors switch every month. I don't get sick of a color that way. I love the transition of a fresh month and seeing a fresh color. And I love how they have brought in the layers design for a little bit more color, but not too bold. I am a big fan of all of those things. It feels like the exact same paper from last year, which is not as thick as the um, 80 pound paper, Mohawk paper that is in the Life Planner, the Coiled Life Planner. Um, before they, when I had checked, they did not have it listed on the website. I wonder if it is listed now, but it feels very thick, at least 70 pounds. It's not the exact same paper that's in the Life Planner, I can tell you that. It doesn't have the same tooth to it. It doesn't have the same smell to it, but it handles pen really well. I will get up a pen test in this video too later on and show you. I'm popping in this pen test a little bit later on without my big mic because I forgot to put it in the video. So let's take a look. Here's all my normal pens for pen testing, a mild liner, dark dual tips. So I have everything there. And if you look at the back of the page, you can see that there's absolutely no bleeding through. You don't have any bad ghosting. There's really no problem. Like I said, my guess would be this paper is 70 pound and it has less tooth or texture to it than the Erin Condren Life Planner. So it is not that same paper because that paper would be way too thick to fit three months in here into a sewn book. But that is what your pen test looks like. And it is not slick paper at all. I think it handles pen really well. And there we go. So that's what February looks like. You just slip your book in if you're not familiar with using a folio in the middle where your book is sewn. You just slip the band in there and it really does stay in there well. And you really can write while it's in your book. If you don't mind a little bump here, you can keep it full with four books. Some people I know take it out to do a lot of writing and slip it back in. But many people I know leave it in while they are writing. You do have a bump, especially if it's your first book. So my recommendation is the book you write in the most, such as your daily or your journal, whatever you're writing in the most, I would put as one of your middle books. Because to me, you don't have as big a bump in your middle book, like when you're writing. Because it's more even on the left and the right side, you know, how many books you have in front and behind you. If you're writing in your very front book or your very back book, that's where you're going to have the biggest bump because you have all the books behind you or all the books in front of you. So your most used book, I know it doesn't come to mind first to do this, but I would keep them in the middle. When Here is March, beautiful green. There's your March monthly. And when you get to the end of this planner, there are no extra pages. They finish out the week and they start you in April. Oh, there are two lined pages back here at the end of your book. And then you always get some beautiful stickers Functional stickers mainly celebrate happy birthday, to-dos, reminders, some blank labels, and some other little icons like shopping carts and finances. And there's a little pocket back here to slip things in. I think their quarterly planners are just an amazing option. I love that you can buy them separately. They are $14 when you buy them separately. They usually offer them as a whole set at a little bit of a discount. But I love that you can just try out one quarter if you want to and just buy one daily planner. So that is a really good option if you're just wanting to try it out, just buy one. Okay, you know what? Before we flip, look into the goal one, let's just flip through. That's volume three. Let's go, and that's last year, so we don't want to flip through there. <laughs> let's go to, here we go, quarter two of this year and just look at the colors really quickly. As you saw, April. The colors go with the Life Planner, but I just wanted to show you how it looks in here. Then you have May, which is our peach, which is my least favorite color of the Life Planner, honestly. 
I don't know why. I just can't get excited about the peach for May. I think of Mother's Day and I want like a bright peony pink there. I really do. And then you have beautiful green for June. I always think of the grass growing. And I know that if you live outside the U.S., then these colors don't really flow with your seasons and your holidays. So I'm sorry that I'm always talking about that. But for here in the U.S., they flow with our seasons and our holidays. And that just brings me a little extra jolt of joy. So I truly do like that. And you have, oh, interesting. I'm glad I flipped through here. This one has no extra notes pages. So I think it depends on where your month ends, the number of pages that they can sew into this book. So quarter one had two extra lined pages. Quarter two has no extra lined pages. You end with a quote and the same sticker sheet, but as you'll notice, the foiling accents match the color of that quarter. So gold foiling in quarter two, there was pink foiling in quarter one. I love that touch. Very nice. Okay, let's look at quarter three. Actually, that's quarter four. Here we go. Quarter three. Let's look if there's any. Well, we'll look at the colors and then we'll see if there's extra notes pages at the end. So July is the dark blue to go with like the 4th of July. Then we have August in the yellow. Beautiful. Yellow always makes me happy. I like the mustard yellow color. I really do. Uh, September is the dark purple. That's what we look like. And let's look, no notes pages. Maybe they only put it in quarter one. Let's see. Here's your beautiful stickers with the purple foiling though. Really nice touch. And then we have our quarter four book. October, of course, the beautiful orange. And then there's orange on your pages. November, the beautiful more teal blue. And then December is our green, really bright green. This used to bother me, but their holiday stickers all go with this bright green. And it just kind of makes December feel a little bit more alive. And I've actually grown to love it after using the Life Planner for three years now. So I've, I've grown to love that lighter green there. And then you do get to finish out your week starting January 1st and 2nd in 2022. Can you even think that far ahead? Like I, I can't imagine January 2022, but there are no extra notes pages. So those must, they've just decided to only add them to quarter one. I guess thinking it's your starting book, but why would you only need notes in your first book? I think it would have been really nice to have two notes pages at the end of every book because where are you going to write notes or index? You could use those two pages for indexing, like if you had meeting notes, doctor notes, different things on other days that you wanted to be able to remember and reference back to. You can use this for an index, but you don't have those extra pages in your other book to be able to use for an index. There are is your blue foiling beautiful. I like those touches, but I just, I really wish they would have put those two line pages at the end of every daily. I feel like it adds so much more function for if you want to index or just if you need to take notes. Okay, they're coming out with this new version, beautiful, much brighter in my opinion of the goal planning or goal setting journal is what they call it. Hold the vision, trust the process. It has that beautiful uh, peach foiling on there. Okay, guys, even though I'm not a huge fan of the peach, I do think this is beautiful. I like the peach on here. The color scheme with all the different rainbow colors and the peach foiling, which is almost like rose gold, but it's not as dark as rose gold. Beautiful stripes inside, nameplate page. And these pages, I flipped through and compared page, page by page, looked the same from last year but just different brighter colors. Now I did not read through all the print to see if they changed anything in that, but the layout of the page and the titles of everything and the headers are the same. So you have these beginning pages where they're gonna guide you through, connect with your why. I'm not gonna do a super in-depth review of this um, since it's the same as last year. I have an in-depth review of last year's and only the colors have changed in here. So I'm gonna link that in-depth review that I have and I'll link it in the description. And then I'm just going to flip through here and show you the colors. You have the beginning pages where they give you a lot of guidance. You have a goal vision board. You have some motivational quotes throughout. 
Then you have a breaking down of the goal. So this is like goal one. And then you come up with your goal. You come up with why it's important, the action plan, and then your small steps. They have a lot of guidance up front to walk you through this. So all your small steps that you would need to make happen to make that goal happen. Then you have goal check-ins on that goal. If you'll notice, the color stays the same throughout all the pages for one goal, which is nice because you can flip through and easily see where you switch to a different goal. So these are goal check-ins for this one goal. You're going to look at your small steps and think, well, what are my check-ins going to be? when I'm gonna check in on this. What do I wanna have done by certain dates? What will my to-dos be to make that happen? You have two, three, four pages, four of goal check-ins. So you have a lot of pages to work at for making your goals bigger. These are like your bigger goals to work for, your in-depth things that are gonna take steps to get there, not just one thing. Then you have your next one. So you go into the same one. I love the updated colors. I like the ombre on the page. It seems brighter than last year when I was flipping through. And then you have your two, three, four pages of goal check-ins again, and you start your next goal. So that's two goals. The yellow makes three goals. The orange makes four goals. I love that burnt orange. Maybe just because we're in the fall, but I'm extra attracted to that. Five goals, this dark aqua. Six goals is our purple. And then we go to the end. So this book will house six big goals for you and really break them down. You have room to note your accomplishments along the way. List out all those completed goals. Celebrate them. I think it's really important to take time to stop and do that. Too many times I don't. And seeing it in writing what you have accomplished is really motivating. It is for me. Habits developed along the way and then things I've learned. So then they ask you a few questions to kind of um, think about what have you learned along the way? What's worked well for me in this process? What have I let go of? What didn't work well at this process? You know, what you want to change as you go forward working on new goals and maybe starting your next goal book. What you're grateful for, what you're capable of, proud of, and looking ahead, so thinking about your next goal book, if you're going to start your next one, and you have two dot grid. Like I said, if you want more in-depth where I really go through this and I also compare it to another goal planner, I will put that video down in the description. But I really do think this is a good goal planner, only $14. It'll take you through six goals, really breaking those down. And especially if you have a teenager who is just starting to work on goals and you don't want to spend a huge chunk of money on a goal planner, but you want something that's beautiful and motivational, this is perfect. All the covers on the petite planners are heavy duty. They're coated on the outside. So if they get spilled on, the water is going to just bead right off. You can dry it off. It's not going to ruin it. These are all sewn books, really well made. And the colors within it and the guidance is enough to motivate me. I really think it's a great little goal setting system for the price, it cannot be beat. And then you get these beautiful stickers to go with it. Look at that, like the peach, rose gold foiling. These are really cute stickers. I'm not a huge stickering person and I always forget to pull these out and use them. Even in my planner or whatever goal setting system I'm using, I personally have not used this myself, but I really do think it's a good system when I look at and compare it to other much more expensive systems. This will take you through six goals. That could last you an entire year or it could last you three months. So I also like that it's undated and very open-ended and very affordable. Whereas when you're done with this book, whenever it is, you just get a new one and start a new one. And they often are coming out with covers at least once a year, but I think they came out with another one mid-year last year. So that when you get a new book, it feels fresh and different, but still the familiar system. So I am a fan of that. This is their meal planner. I personally have never used it, but I do think it's a great meal planner. I just, I don't use a meal planner. But if I did, I think this would be a good one, except for I would really want it to start on Monday. I truly just, my brain thinks a Monday start for a weekly layout. You could always, you know, redo that with stickers if you wanted to, but I probably wouldn't want to because that would also take away the cute colors. 
So you have your nameplate page, you have these cute end pages inside. These petite planners also make really cute gifts. Like to start out the year, if you want to get some friends or nieces, you know, or your kids a goal planner, they're so affordable. And they also are beautiful. They feel good in hand. They don't feel cheap. They feel much more than the price that you've paid, honestly. If someone just gave me this book, I would think it's at least $20. That's just me, and that's knowing a lot of planner prices. Here are the cute stickers you get with the meal planning. Very cute. Pockets on the back of each, and you know the cute design carried over to the end pages. So let me walk you through after the nameplate page. Every week, you have Sunday through Saturday. You have slots for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I like how the lines are dotted and very light though, because if you didn't want to chart your breakfast and lunch, um, which that's not something that I chart out for my whole family, then it's easy to just, you can just write all the way across for dinner and have more room for dinner plans. So that's my idea on how I would use it. Um, This could also be for keeping track like wellness. If you're really tracking your meals and you want to pre-plan them, you have a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So that's always nice too, and it's just all on one page. It's easy to see the whole week, all the meals that you have planned, and your shopping list is directly across. And I feel like they've given you good room for a shopping list. Sometimes I feel like in meal planners or all on one page type of meal planner thing where you tear it off a tablet, the shopping list is not big enough, but this is you know ample room for me for like our once weekly Sprouts shopping trip. And then meal prep strategy. Of course, if you needed to carry over your list, you could, but this is also, you know, anything you need to know, like maybe what recipes you're using, what website they're on or cookbook they're in so you can find them easily. Or maybe, you know, you need to say on Monday, you know, I'm going to do all the meal prep for, you know, the chicken and veggie stir fry meal. And you're going to list out the meal prep you're going to do on Monday, you know, for that meal coming on Wednesday. So kind of thinking about when you're going to prep each meal that week, you have a notes section for that. You have a date section here to put in the date of the week. And then it just carries on for you throughout the whole book until we go. So I believe there are 52 weeks to cover a year. I will check on their website on that and list that here in the video. But then so you have that a huge, you know, amount of weekly pages And then at the end, you have some like special planning pages, a dinner party meal plan. So this could also be used for a holiday, drinks, appetizers, main dishes, side dishes, desserts, guest name, request, allergies, what they're bringing, a shopping list for that, and a cooking schedule. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... You have six dinner party meal plans, which I also think could be used for any holiday get together, in my opinion, would just, even if it's just your family, this could be used for like, say, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, you know, Thanksgiving, New Year's Day, even if it was just your family. And then you have a price tracker. So my thoughts on how they, why they put this in here is kind of like, and I could be wrong, but you know, the item you get, what store it's at, the size, you know, the ounces the price and the unit price. And that way you have this with you. And if you're in another store, how many times am I like, oh, was this cheaper at Sprouts or Whole Foods? Because honestly, sometimes it's a toss up and one is cheaper at the other. And you would have that recorded in here, the things you buy over and over. So you would be able to see and track that. So I actually like the idea of that. Then you have a couple recipe log pages for recipes on a half a page, ingredients, directions, I really just like all the colors in this book. So you have one, two, three of those pages with two on each page. Oh no, sorry, four on each page. So you have 12 recipe cards basically, or you have two on the back, so 14. And then you have a conversion chart for all those kitchen measurements. And like a recipe calls for two round cake pans, which is eight cups. And what else is the equivalent of that? Could you bake that in? So I think this is a really helpful chart to have in the kitchen too. That is your meal planner. Like I said, lots of their petite planners make great gifts. I will actually link some of the videos I have down below where I've reviewed a lot of the other petite planners, like the travel petite planner. I can't remember them all. They have a special breast cancer petite planner for tracking your visits. Those kinds of things make such 
good gifts for people I feel and let them know that you are thinking specifically about them. So if you know a friend is trying to work on goals or trying to work on planning meals, they have an array of petite planners for weddings to um, baby tracking, all kinds of things. So that is their petite planner system. Even if you're not using the daily petite planners as a planner, with all the numerous petite planners they have, you definitely could find four that you might want to use in your life and be able to stick on this folio and keep them all together if you wanted an excuse to get the beautiful folio. That's just an idea. I do have a $10 off if it's your very first Erin Condren order. That is down in the description. You sign up for an account through that link and then they will email you the $10 off coupon very quickly. And then I do have my affiliate link, which just means if you shop through Erin Condren anytime by clicking on my link to take you to their website, then I get credit for your sale. And that is the only way that I am sent these product packages from Erin Condren to be able to share with you on launches and be able to walk you through and show you all the details. So if my channel has helped you, I would so appreciate if whenever you shopped, you shop through my affiliate link. It is truly what keeps my channel going. There's nothing different with your sale. It takes you to the website. You still enter in all your account information and you get all your points and you're still in your account. Thanks for watching guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these petite planners. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you think about the new dailies and about the other petite planners. Take care guys. Have a good week and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.